going on a walk. Now, first thing, always start off slow. When we're doing a review, we want to make sure that Kai recalls everything. So, starting those baby steps, just like I always say, go very slow. And also, when we do bring Kai out into the world and we're going to take him for a walk and we're going to be working on our heel, try to tire him out just a little bit. Play a little bit of ball or some puzzles or something with him and get a little bit of his energy out so he, it's easier for him to go into migration mode and start working um, without having to worry about his energy level getting the better of him. Okay, so because Kai is a big, strong dog and if he really wants to go somewhere, he might take you there. So, having a slip lead, which just goes around the dog's head, is not like a choke collar or a prong collar or anything like that. It's basically just a rope um, with a little uh, ring and also a little, uh, usually it's like a leather piece or another cloth piece to stop it from sinking down to the base of the neck. But because of Kai's sheer size and strength, it might be easier for you to get a hold of him when you take him out for a walk by having a slip lead. And the easiest way to have it positioned um, to make it so it's less effort on your part uh, to control Kai, to either take him in a different direction or something, is to have it right up, sit, good boy, to have it right up at the top part of his neck there, right behind his ears. And if you notice, this is exactly how uh, the leads are when dogs are being shown. The dog gets confident, their, their head is up, their shoulders are back, you know, they're very strong, they're standing up straight. This is exactly how you should feel when you walk Kai. So this is how Kai should feel as well. And also, if Kai decides that maybe that bird over there is way more interesting than walking nicely at a certain point in time, it is a lot easier to maintain control of him if he decides to go somewhere and you're not. So if he just starts walking up ahead of you, it's easier because of the location of the slip lead right at the top part of the neck to have complete control over his head. When we do have a collar that falls down, when we do have a collar that's um, at the very base of the neck, this really, really encourages pulling. It has that harness effect. So we have him uh, attached to a lead and he starts pulling and then our automatic reaction as a person is to pull back. This gives him a lot of strength and all he does is go forward even more. So just like I use on my dog and um, all the dogs here, I highly recommend a slip lead. You can just get them at Petco or order them online. There are different styles, um, different materials as well. But this might be something to make it easier for you guys to completely control Kai when you do have him on a walk. He does walk very nicely. Sometimes he sees something that he may think is more interesting than the walk, and at that point in time, it might be a little difficult to control him. All right, so we're gonna start our journey right now, and I have some treats in my pouch here. I can give it to him uh, intermittently. I don't wanna treat him all the time, but an occasional treat instead of affection or including affection is always good. to hear. 
heel. Remember, we can slap our leg and start moving. High heel and start walking. And then whenever we come to a stop, we need to make sure that Kai sits. Good, sit. Good. And also, when Kai is in that wonderful healing position, he's not in front of us, he's not behind us, he's not floating out to the side or anything. At that point in time, we're going to cut a whole bunch of slack on this lead, and it should be droopy, feeling like it's not even there. So that, when he is at a heel, is exactly what he should be feeling. Technically nothing. He should feel like he doesn't even have a lead on. Okay, so just remember, when you notice that Kai is in a heel position, not in front, behind, or too far out beside you, cut him a lot of slack on his lead. And also, one other thing, I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, how to hold the leash. Always remember, especially since you have a very strong dog, you're going to put your thumb in the loop and close your hands around the leash. This would prevent um, anything from happening if Kai decided to go say hi to someone without you knowing or realizing that he is, he's going to do that. And he pulls, our automatic reaction would be to tighten our fingers around the lead here and he'll be able to we'll be able to get him back to us safely. We don't want to avoid uh, wrapping our hands up in the leash as a very uh, large strong dog going somewhere. Could break a couple of fingers. So just remember we're going to have our leash secure by putting our thumb through the loop and wrapping our fingers around so if Kai does decide to pull we have a really nice strong grip to prevent him from doing so. And when we're doing exercises in regards to healing and walking nicely in the house, set up a little obstacle course. Now this is nothing, this is just a couple of uh, things on the floor here. But practice, practice your movements. You want to get really, uh, really fluid with Kai following us when we're walking on the lead. Close quarters, that's another thing that we want him to get used to. If we're uh, in a small area, like a hallway, for example. Good. And there's some very close quarters. There's a wall here. There's a, a desk or table here. We want Kai to be comfortable with that. So try to exercise him a little bit before you go walking with him, if at all possible. Um, also, another great way of exercising our dog indoors is creating a flirt pole. And you don't have to buy one. You can actually make one yourself. And it's just, a, you get, get some PVC pipe, thread some thicker rope through it, tie a knot at one end, have some rope hanging down at the other, and put a little toy there. This gives Kai the opportunity to get exercise while you don't have to physically go out and run him. Uh, if you're tired or it's raining outside, you can drag it on the ground. It's virtually a giant cat toy, but it really helps in draining that energy that a lot of high energy dogs may have. Um, so before you take him on a walk, try to take some of that energy out and uh, it'll calm Kai down a little bit, get him a little more focused on what we're supposed to be doing, which is walking nicely. And of course, work up to bringing him around those distractions that maybe set him off, get him really, really excited. Oh, he can't wait to see so-and-so on the corner because they're always so happy to see him. Work up to those situations. It's going to be difficult to control Kai, um, especially if he gets very excited. So slowly, slowly introduce him to being around people and different uh, energy levels and all kinds of excitement and things while still being able to have Kai uh, listen to and follow through with his basic commands. And uh, he did a very good job, of course. Yes, you did.